Hey everyone, it's me, your boy, your relationship guru, the big man himself. The one who puts big man in big man and the fat man. So today, I got a new video for y'all. I'm going to teach you how to hold a grudge. Now I bet you're wondering, but big man, how can you be qualified to teach us how to hold a grudge? Well, my friend, you see, I'm a Scorpio, so I know all about holding grudges. Now, let's see. This video is mostly for people who want to hold grudges, but can't stay mad at their friend, their parents, their partner, their significant other. And I'll teach you how to do it. Now, ignoring the fact that holding grudges might be bad for the relationship at a, in a whole, and maybe learning how to forgive people is way better, as a Scorpio, I'm going to have to say, that's wrong. Anybody who says that is wrong. Always hold grudges. So anyway, the first step to hold a grudge <clears throat> is always spend your free time thinking about what they did to make you angry. If you can do that, then it'll be easy. Now, for those of you that barely have any free time, I have another tip that might just be even more effective. <clears throat> Always start arguments or make passive-aggressive comments towards the person you're talking to that you're trying to hold a grudge against. If you do that, then most of the time, arguments will, arguments will spark, spark. And you'll be able to hold a grudge against them for even longer because you're mad at them again. And if this doesn't work for you, then you can always just watch all the grudge movies five times in a 36-hour period. If you can do that, then you'll be able to hold a grudge forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Alright. Bye-bye.